welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yen back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. First, before I even get this video started, I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for the love that you have shown me over the past few days um, from me cutting my hair. Obviously, that was a huge decision and a big change <laughs> for me. So, and just the fact that I've been getting so many compliments and DMs and comments and all these type of things, like I really, really appreciate you guys' love. It makes me feel so good. It really does because it may look easy, but it's not easy just to cut your all your hair off. So, thank you for that love and support. Um, thank you to everyone who viewed my video of my Big Chop. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to go ahead and link it below and there should be a card on either side where you can just click it and go to that video but thank you so much to everyone who's viewed that video that is my most viewed video so far so that's just really exciting and it feels really good um so thank you so much for just the love and support if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe i'm trying to get to 200 subscribers so if you guys could just help me out by hitting that subscription button i would really appreciate it so in today's video we are going to be recreating one of my own looks. I have this thing where it's always a moment where I'm debating, should I film my makeup, should I not? And there was this one night that I decided not to and my makeup ended up coming out so bomb. I was so blown that I didn't record the process because it really came out so bomb. I'm gonna enter the picture for you guys so you can see, but it was just a beautiful green, emerald green, like smoky eye with a neutral lip. And I just loved it. I remember just feeling like the baddest bitch that night. I had the first bob, like your girl was killing them so I just wanted to recreate that look so that you guys can just see how I did that if you want to try it out on your own someday I know we're still quarantined but I mean honestly for me it's still fun to play in makeup and honestly looking like a bum every day can get kind of depressing so if you just want to make yourself look cute or practice a look that you can try again after the quarantine then this is the video for you this is the final product um, I think I did pretty good honestly it's damn near identical to the initial look so I'm really happy about that I'm actually really excited I am still just kind of like teaching myself this eyeshadow thing so I'm getting better and better I will say the key is to take your time so if you really want to execute the look and that's any look take your time give yourself time to really pay attention to detail to blend do all of that take your time and I promise you the look will come out at least like five times better than it would if you were rushing before we hop into this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's see how i put together this look all right guys so before we even get started i just want to let you guys know the right side of my face is breaking out i don't know what's going on but we're still gonna slay this look i did my eyebrows off camera so if you need to pause the video and do yours and then come back go ahead we're gonna start off with my eyes. We're going in with a kind of like medium brown color and I'm just going to start the building process on my eyes. So I'm putting this in my creases. With any smoky eye look, you're really just like building and blending. Those are the two main things that you're doing. So I go in initially with colors that match my skin more so and then I go in with the colors that I actually wanna use for the look. I'm gonna go in with a darker brown, it's like a chocolate brown and do the exact same thing. Focusing a little bit more on the outside of my eye so we can really start to create that smoky effect. And I'm gonna go in with a forest green color and do the exact same thing. This one's a little bit darker, so you don't need to use as much eyeshadow, you know, use it sparingly. I like to start light and then if I feel like I need to add more, then I do. But just blending that out, blending is key. Take your time when you're blending. Next, I'm going to go on with this light green color and just apply that to my lids. I'm using a flat brush for this. And I'm just going to apply that to my entire lid. Thank you. 
I'm gonna use a an even lighter brown than the first one I used and I'm using that strictly for blending reasons at the top of the eyeshadow look it was coming off harsh compared to my skin tone so I just wanted to use that just to blend everything through I'm gonna go in with black you do not need to use a lot of this use a little bit I'm packing it to the outside of my look so that's really creating the darkness and depth of the smoky eye look but I'm just kind of putting that right on the outside like I said you don't have to use a lot for this but you know just use a little bit on the outside make sure that you're blending this video is sped up but I definitely was taking my time when I was blending all of these colors together because if you don't it's not gonna come out looking good So I'm going in with a lighter like neon green. I know in the inspo video, the look isn't as bright as I did in this video, but that's okay. I did want it to be a little bit more dramatic. So I decided to brighten up that lid more with the neon green. All right, and then I'm just taking a brush and blending everything through. I'm going to use a white eyeliner, a white creamy eyeliner for my waterline. And then I'm also going to use the same forest green color to apply under my waterline. Then I'm going in with a white eyeshadow and applying it to the inner corners of my eyes and under my eyebrows. Now we're gonna get into my face. I am concealing with LA Pro Girl Concealer. All the products that I'm using, I'm definitely gonna put in the description box. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using is extremely old and doesn't even have names for the colors, so you guys can kind of improvise with that. But with a smoky eye, you really can use whatever colors you want. It's just about the shades of the colors that you use. That's most important. So feel free to experiment with different colors, blues, purples, reds, whatever, you know, whatever you're interested in. We're just gonna blend out this concealer before we apply our foundation. I'm actually using a new foundation in this video that I don't typically use. It's a drugstore foundation by NYX. I didn't mind the foundation itself. I just felt like it didn't match my skin as perfectly as my NARS and my Makeup Forever and my Fenty Beauty, but the actual formula and the foundation itself wasn't bad. I just need to play around with figuring out what color is best for me. So I decided to just put that foundation everywhere that I did not put my concealer. My for The foundation did not match my forehead. I don't know what was up with that. So I ended up going in and mixing it with a dark concealer and using the darker mix for my forehead. You'll see that in a second. But yeah, I'm just applying the foundation everywhere that I did not already put concealer. All right, I'm going in with a lighter cream concealer. I wanted to brighten up my under eye a little bit more. This eyeshadow look is very dramatic. It's very dark. So I just wanted to make sure that the rest of my face was nice and bright. Um, so that's why I went in with one more layer of concealer and a lighter shade to brighten up my face and brighten up the look. I'm using my highlight slash contour blush palette from Sephora that I always rave and rave about. You gotta get it. I'm using the dark like brown tan color to bronze slash contour with. Then 
Then I'm gonna go on with my translucent setting powder just to set my under eye so that we keep that nice bright look. I'm gonna set under my under eye. I'm also gonna set under my contour. And I'm gonna eventually end up setting around my mouth. You'll see me do that randomly, guys, just because I felt like the foundation around my mouth needed setting as well. I'm going in with that same bronzing color to contour my nose with. I like to bring my contour on my nose all the way up to my eyebrow. I got that tip from Rihanna. So, you know, you wanna bring it all the way up because basically where your eyebrows start is where your nose starts, if that makes sense. So I like to bring that all the way up because I feel like it makes it look even more snatched but also natural. I'm taking a big blending brush just to blend it all out so the lines aren't so harsh. I'm also gonna brush off my setting powder that's under my eyes and under my contour. This is what I was saying about setting around my mouth. I'm gonna take the rose gold blush color in the same palette to apply blush. You'll see me add more of that later as well because I wanted it to show a little more, but I'm gonna use the white highlighter color in that palette to highlight my nose with. I like to make sure that I'm pressing that into the skin so that it's not just sitting on top of my face. Brushing off that setting powder around my mouth. Now I'm going to line my lips with a brown liner. I know everybody loves like the MAC liner, cork and chestnut and things like that. I use a typical beauty supply brown eyeliner slash lip liner. It does the exact same job guys, I promise you. Next, I'm going in with this kind of like pinky nude color. I'll put the name down below, but it's like, a, it's like a nude, but it's got a little bit of a pink undertone to it. So I went back and added some of my actual nude matte lip to add to it. And then on top of that, I put a lip gloss. And then I'm just kind of rubbing my lips together, trying to get the look that I want. I wanted my liner to be a little more prominent, so I added some more to the top and the bottom. But this nude lip is so easy to pull off. All you need is a brown liner, a nude lipstick, and a lip gloss. This is an everyday lip. All right, that's really it guys. Um, right now I'm just kind of setting the rest of my face with the translucent powder. I'm not using a lot, you see me blowing it off the brush. But I do that, I go back and add a little bit more blush and the look is finished. All right guys, thank you for watching the video. If you made it all the way to the end, you a real one. I appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to give me any type of constructive criticism or feedback down below. If you decide to recreate this look and take a picture, tag me in it so I can see you guys recreate this look. I had fun doing this. I hope you guys have fun watching and I'll see you in the next video.